Are you guys having trouble in transferring your files between Android and PC? Well, you have clicked on the right video because today I'm going to be showing you how to transfer the files between Android and PC using the easiest and probably one of the most successful methods out there. So without any further ado, let's get straight into the video. Now guys, we're going to be making the use of an app called Dry Transfer. And the best part of using this method is that you can transfer the files between your PC and Android wirelessly. Now guys, in order to have this method working, you need to install first of all the Droid Transfer app onto your PC. I'm going to be giving the link to this app in the description box below. Alright guys, so once you have downloaded and installed the Droid Transfer app onto your PC, the next thing is to download the Transfer Companion app onto your Android phone. So for that reason, you get a good to the play store and search for transfer companion so let me just go ahead and show you the app which you need to download so this right here is the app and you can see it is offered by wide angle software so go ahead and install that and once the app has been installed onto your phone go ahead and open it up now guys as you can see i have opened up the app onto my phone and onto my pc i've also opened up the droid transfer app now guys the very first thing that you got to do in order to build the connection between both the devices is to connect to the same Wi-Fi connection and once you have been connected to the same Wi-Fi all you got to do is tap this scan QR code option you see over here and right after that the scanner is gonna open up onto your phone go ahead and give the permissions and just go ahead and scan this QR code you see onto the PC and within a couple of seconds your phone will be connected to your PC and as you can see the dashboard has opened up and from over here you can go ahead and transfer whatever you like between your Android and PC. Alright guys, so just now I've connected my phone and you can see the details about that right here in the center. So you can see my phone's model number, its serial number, battery status and whatnot. But it is the bottoms part which is the most essential one. So let me go ahead and show you first of all my messages part. Let's tap on this messages icon. Now we gotta wait for a little while while it fetches the data off the phone and finally this window is gonna pop up. Now guys from here you may go ahead and select any any person with whom you had a chat and you want to back it up, I'm going to go ahead and open up my chat conversation with the reader. Now if I scroll down, you can see we have a good number of messages over here. Now in order to save this messages catalog onto your PC, all you got to do is simply tap on the save PDF button up at the top and this pop-up window is going to open up. So over here, you got to choose the location where you want to save your PDF file and within a couple of seconds, you will have your messages exported. Now, let me go ahead and open up the exported PDF and here we have all the messages. Next up, let's take a look at the files tab. Now this can be very important for some of you as I know a lot of people actually save their files in the file manager of their phones. Now you can even go ahead and access the app data stored onto your phone. Like if I go ahead and open up the WhatsApp folder here, I have the capacity in my hands to even take a look at the media files of it. So here we have got WhatsApp stickers, photos, videos, notes, and a lot more. Now if you want to transfer your data from your PC to your mobile phone, you can do that as well well through this app. All you gotta do is tap on the add file button up at the top and choose the file you wish to transfer to your phone. And after you have chosen the file, tap on the open button and within a couple of seconds, you will have your file transferred. Now guys, with the help of Droid Transfer app, you can also make a backup of your contacts. So all you gotta do is tap on the contacts button right over here and then you need to tap on the save contacts button up at the top. And once you're gonna click that, you will be given these options so you can export your contacts in the form of vCard or in the form of CSV format. You can even go ahead and send your contacts via Outlook. How cool is that? Now, if you want to add more contacts in your contact list, you can go ahead and do that by tapping on the add contact button up at the top. Guys, have you got music onto your phone? Well, you know what? Now you can actually listen to that music onto your PC using of course the Droid Transfer app. So all you gotta do is simply tap on the music tab over here and once you click that you will be taken to this page uh, where you will find all of the songs that are present of course onto your mobile phone so go ahead and select any of your desired song and once you have selected the song go ahead and tap on the play button now of course I'm not gonna play this song because I don't want my video to be taken down because of the copyright strike reason but anyway you get the point you can even add more songs to your phone's playlist by tapping on the add music button you see over 
over here. So in a nutshell, guys, it's a great app. You can clearly transfer everything. May that be your photos, videos, files, or anything else. Now, guys, although this app is absolutely free to download, but the free version comes with some limitations. Like as you can see down below, we have 100 demonstration copies remaining. But you can go ahead and lift off the limitations by purchasing the premium license for just $30. And the great aspect of this license is that it will be a one-time purchase, meaning you won't have to buy it over and over again. And you will be able to use it on two different PCs. So yeah, guys, that's it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed it, please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Got any curious? Let me know in the comments below and I'll see you all next time.